Great seeing you here for Devos. All week long, we're talking about waiting on God. This is a huge problem with almost all Christians. Now, look with me. We're looking at waiting requires faith. Now, this isn't just being obedient or being courageous. It's, listen, you have to do it by faith. You have to believe that God is going to bring it to pass. Now, whatever it is God wants you to do, as long as you bathe this in prayer at the beginning, and he gives you the desire and, uh, and he, you, know, you know that this is from him. Once you get on that path, you stay on that path and don't step off. Now look here at Jeremiah 17, verse 7. Blessed, it's funny, this sounds just like Psalms 1. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. I like that. It, it's not, he doesn't just say trust the Lord. His total trust is in God. I mean, look, he's like that tree that's planted by the water and it sends roots by the stream and does not fear when the heat comes for its leaves remain green. Now, whatever God has called you to do, don't, don't listen to all the negative people. They say, oh, you know, that's a real long time and that sounds like it's really hard to do and I don't know if that's going to work. You listen to what God God has told you to do. You know, as I said, you walk by faith. Okay, but listen, you got to trust in him that he is going to bring this to pass. Now, waiting isn't just about what you're hoping for at the end of the wait. I like it. <laughs> it's not what you're just hoping for at the end of the wait. Like we're waiting because we're, there's something at the end we want. But also, it's about what you will become as you wait. Let me tell you about good Christians, what happens when they have big goals. So I have these people, and they say, oh, you know, pastor, you know, they, they got a great job. They, I mean, they worked hard. They waited, and they worked. And I mean, God was in on it. Okay, then we got these really long goals, you know, that maybe goes on for years, and they want to build this thing, and they, they want to you know, attain different things or positions or do things along the way that would help other people. And then all of a sudden, they become, in the world's eyes, very successful. And they got big ideas about what they're going to do when, when they get there after all that long time. Let me tell you, in most cases, 90% of good Christian people they're not going to do what they told you when they get there. Now, they obtain the goal. They get the prize. God answers their prayers. But God changes them. And now they're not like immature kids. They're deep. They love God. I mean, they're, they're real. Because there's something that happened to them while they were waiting. Look at Psalms 37.5. He says, commit your ways to the Lord. I mean, everything you do, put God number one. Trust in him and he will act. Look at me, he's going to bring it to pass. It's all by faith. Just wait until you see why God took his time and didn't do it in your time. I like that. Okay, I always tell people, I go, I know this seems like it's going on forever. I know this is a really long journey. But as time goes on, you will know why it had to take so long. Because you see, when you're leaning on him and you're trusting in him and you are seeking him and, and, and I mean, you get to the edge and it looks like the whole thing is going to fall apart, then all of a sudden it's all saved and you go on to the next step. This is a great journey of faith. And you'll be a better Christian. You'll be a better soul winner. Why? Because you're learning to walk by faith. Okay, Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean under your own understanding. In all your ways, you acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths, meaning he will bring everything to pass. He will guide you all the way if you just trust in him. Look, waiting on God isn't always fun, but it is always worth it. So this is what I want to tell you. Just stay in there. Just stay in there. Just trust in the Lord. As we said last Sunday, as you're walking with God and you got those waiting times, 
Well, what do you do during those times? Well, you stay busy for him. Like Paul, he kept picking up the sticks and throwing them in the fire. Stay busy for God. Honor him. Walk by faith. And God's going to answer all your prayers. And he's going to bring it to pass. 